Sunny. Go. Come in here, you're totally cold, you've no idea about the equipment, you've no idea actually what you're supposed to be doing. And within what, two or three minutes, they've, they've told you everything you need to know, they're guiding you through the equipment, their knowledge is amazing. He did quite well actually, um, I was explaining some of the, how the machines work and he was understanding it. Fingernails would have been useful. Three, two, one, go! Simon was great and you saw the, not only the quality and enthusiasm of those new apprentices on the mechanical engineering, I mean they are clearly going to be a real asset to the companies where they're already embedded at BAE in, in the yard and at Siemens in Ulverston. Uh, John Woodcock was very competitive <laughs> indeed wasn't he, he really wanted to win but then you know so did I. Five minutes! So at the time of 7.49, Team Lee, and the winner is Team Woodcock, 5.46. Hey. <laughs> it was hard fought and, and you know, some would say well deserved as well, but I'm obviously not going to blow my own trumpet. Gutted obviously not to win, but uh, that wasn't down to uh, my colleague, that was definitely down to me. I think it was a bit competitiveness between them both, but yeah, I don't think he was Just too bothered bit. that we lost. It's always good to come into college, it's always good to see the apprentices, it's good to see the fantastic kit and equipment you've got here, and it's just a great buzz to come into the college in Apprenticeship Week, great end to Apprenticeship Week. There's been a big investment in this college uh, to be able to provide that real state-of-the-art equipment that will enable those apprentices to go directly from what they are learning in the workshops classroom there and apply it straight into industry. For college provision, I travel around the country a lot and visit lots of colleges and you see very little to this standard, it's really is first class. Yeah. I just started in September so I'm first year apprentice. I'm doing an apprenticeship with BAE as a mechanical fitter. Didn't realise that the opportunity was available for people of my age to go and be able to do an apprenticeship. I think it just, it just echoes nationally how important, um, having gone through a traditional apprenticeship background myself uh, from the shipyard, what a, a fantastic career path it, it can provide, uh, fantastic opportunities. The, the whole world's open to you. This is the third year that Jonathan Lee, editor of the Evening Mail, and I have been squaring off like this. I won the first one. He, for some fluke, managed to uh, managed to edit the thing, so it was one all. And obviously, this was well. I've decided this was the decider. Now, fingers crossed, we can uh, get back to level next year. Yeah.